It's not you. The problem isn't you. The new Superbase package with its deprecation notice of the old off helper packages got people confused and it got me confused as well. And when I did talk to Paul the other day, he also promised that they'll be more careful in the future with stuff like this. Now hopefully after this video, there's no more confusion about it. Because I'll shed light on what the Superbase SSR package does and how it works. And after that, hopefully, you'll ask yourself, why did we ever have framework specific off helpers? Because having a generic one really makes it easy to implement it anywhere. Before we jump in, I have one more challenge for you. You friends are soon hitting the thousand subscribers on this channel, which is awesome. But next year, I want this channel to get to 5,000 and maybe we'll do a stream party. So jump on board, hit the subscribe button and now enjoy the video. Very honestly, the existing off helpers were super confusing. I mean, we had create server component client, we had client component client, middleware client, why? Why do all of those need a different client? In fact, they don't. And that's what Superbase recognized as well. So they came up with that SSR package. But funnily, another thing that's confusing with that one is it's called SSR, but it also exports a front end function. Naming wise, a little bit of mystery mixed up. But don't worry, I'll explain it. Now, before we get rid of anything you have, we want to have a look at that new package. So install it with npmi, superbase, and then slash SSR. And when that's installed, let's have a look what it exports. All right, that looks cleaner. And from those three exports, we're really only interested in two. Create browser client and create server client. Okay, let's start with the first one. What is it and why does it exist? Create browser client works in the same way as create client from Superbase.js. Which means if you want to use Superbase on the front end, for example, a Next.js in a client component or with the older pages router in a pages component, that means if you want to use Superbase in the front end, you'd have to do create browser client and then pass it the Superbase URL as well as your key. And since that is super annoying to write all the time, you just create a new file in a folder like util, for example. You just name that file superbase.js and then you just export create superbase frontend client. Then you return create browser client from the SSR package. And now you can replace all of the currencies in your project where you use create client component client or create pages browser client or even just in any project that uses create client create client but this opens up a valid question why do we have create browser client when we can simply just use create client from the superbase js package well they are in fact very similar they can both work in a browser However, the create browser client internally uses create client and slightly improves it by using a so-called singleton pattern, which avoids the recreation of a new frontend client all the time. And it's essentially the exact same thing as in the off helpers when you used either a create client component client or create pages browser client. So that's that. So you're good to go on frontend. Just import your new function where you need it. Okay, but that's just frontend. What about backend? Backend is a little bit more complicated. But promise, once you understand it, it's very easy. Let's start with a framework independent explanation first. So make sure to import create server client from the same package. And now we also want to do the same as we did for the frontend one. So create superbase server client and you guessed it it's the same approach at first 
Let's also make sure we use a proper next.js variable. Okay, looks like it's done, but isn't. And this is where you have to pay attention. In a browser, everything's the same. There's a standard way of accessing cookies and writing cookies. In a server, there's not. In terms of standards, there is one. HTTP headers. The problem is how to access HTTP headers in each framework. That's different for each framework. Now we're coming to the point. Superbase just can't know where to get it from in such a generalized package. And this is what the auth helpers did before, the Next.js auth helpers, for example. But at the end of the day, the only difference was how to read and write the cookies. And this is what they generalized with this new package. So we have to pass away for the create server client that it knows how to read and write cookies. And that's an object in the third parameter. You provide a cookies property and within that, you provide three functions. The first one is telling Superbase how to get cookies. So Superbase tells you the name and you have to return the cookie with that name. The second one, you guessed it, is how to set cookies. That's with a name, value, and some cookie options. And now there's just one thing missing, that's deleting a cookie. And that's done with remove. Also takes name and options. Now you know how the create server client works, but you don't know how to implement it. So the question now comes down to how can I get and set cookies with Next.js? And in Next.js, there are exactly two ways dealing with cookies. The easy one is with the new app router. It's in server component and in server actions and in route handlers. And that's the cookies utility function. The other one is by request and response object. So getting cookies from the request object and setting cookies with the response object. And this is also important in app router for the middleware. And it is important for all of the pages router because in the pages router, there is no cookies utility. There's only request and response object. That being said, you guessed it. We need to create Superbase server clients, one for request and response object for the pages router and the middleware, and one for the app router for server actions, route handlers, and the server components. And if you asked yourself why I did change my clothes for just saying that I did not because I just forgot to say it and now it's the other day. Let's start with the app router version because that is very easy. I'd like to have it neatly separated so I'll create a new file superbase app router client. I'll move all of the code there and I rename that function to create superbase app server client then simply import cookies from next headers and getting a cookie is done by calling cookies get passing the name and then its value and since it could be a cookie that potentially does not exist let's make sure that we don't throw an error so let's do conditional chaining return all of that and we're good to go with the first one the second one is very similar we call cookies then set we pass name and value and then the options. Pretty straightforward. Deleting a cookie is done by deleting its value. So we'll use again set, set the value to an empty string and pass the options. Now before you use this, please pay attention again. This function will work fine in server components, in route handlers and in server actions. But there's an edge case for server components. In server components, you can read cookies, which is important for Superbase to do proper requests and fetch data. But server components are already in the last chain of Next.js rendering. They cannot set or delete cookies. That's not a problem normally because you wouldn't call any of those functions in a server component that trigger this. Something like reset password or sign in, that's what you would do with a route handler. But just to make sure you never run into trouble, Let's pass an additional Boolean that we call server component. And that is initially false. And if that's true, 
then we want to avoid setting cookies at all costs. All right, now you're perfectly done. And now wherever on the server with Next.js app router, you want to use Superbase, just use that function. For example, here. And this is how you can get rid of all of the off herbal functions with the new package. Not that hard, right? And since I am in a server component, I want to pass through, just to be on the 100% safe side. And now to make this super convenient, we'll export another function, which we call create superbase server component client. That's a long function. And the only thing we do here is returning create superbase app server client with true. And now you can simply use the first one without passing anything in server actions and route handlers and this second one in all of your server components. Let's do that. Go to a page which uses the old create server component client and replace it with our create superbase server component client. And if you're not using middleware with app router, then you're done. If you do use middleware with app router, that's what we'll look at now. And it's the exact same thing as with the pages router. So I have this middleware file here, middleware.js, which does really nothing. It just tells Next.js to continue with the request. The middleware gets past the request object and the response object we just created. Now say you wanted Superbase here. Unfortunately, you cannot import cookies here from next headers. That doesn't work with the middleware. You have to work with request and response object. That being said, you need a Superbase server client which works with request and response object. So let's create another file. Superbase rec rest client. Let's copy some code from the app router client which we just created. Then we export a function, create superbase regress client, and then paste the code we copied. First things first, we will definitely have to work with request and response objects. And now we have to read cookies and set cookies based on those two. You can do that manually, but it's kind of annoying and there's a very small package that does it for you. It's called cookies next and it works with the newest version of Next.js as well as with older ones. So let's install it. And then you can just import get cookie and set cookie from cookies next. Getting the cookie then looks like this. We give it the name and the request and response object. Setting a cookie is very similar. You pass the name, the value, then rec and res, and you also pass all of the options. And you guessed it, we copy paste that. For removing a cookie, we copy paste the set cookie and pass the value as empty. And now you have the function that you need for either the pages router or your middleware. So you can initialize Superbase here by calling create Superbase regress client and passing reg and res object. Now you really have all you need and you can get completely rid of the off helpers package. So happy removal there. All right, that's it. Now, if you have any follow-up questions, just put them in the comments. And now whenever you're watching this at whatever time in whatever city, I wish you a great day. Cheers.